Hi guys, it's Charlie from Monocure 3D. On this episode of Pro Tips, we'll have an in-depth look at our CMYK pigment set and show you how to make your own range of transparent colours. Let's start now. Okay, so you have one of our CMYK pigment sets or you're thinking about getting one and wondering how to make different colours. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through that process step by step. By the end of the video, you'll be able to make your own unique colours that are repeatable. Let's kick off by giving you a lowdown on these pigments. They're especially developed for 3D printing, which means they consist of 100% solid material. Don't make the mistake of getting pigments that contain solvents, as they'll eventually cause your models to crack as the solvents will evaporate. The pigments are highly concentrated, which means they are very dense and don't need much to get a rich, deep colour. A word of warning, these will stain, so be very careful when handling them. The letters CMYK stand for cyan, magenta, yellow and black. I'm pretty sure they went with K for black as they didn't want to confuse it with blue. The idea behind the four colours is you can make any colour using different combinations. The clear base is better for transparent finishes and the white is more suitable for opaque or solid colours. Our chemists have created 11 colours using our clear and white model resin. I'm going to show you how to follow the formulas provided in the link below so you can make these colours yourself. To get started, you'll need the full pigment set, mixing cup, wooden stirrers and a set of mini scales. You can see this handy holder here was made by one of our customers. I'll also add the STL in the bottom in the description too. You will notice we have also included drop numbers in the formula chart. It's always recommended to weigh the pigment as the accuracy is better. Okay, let's start with colour number four on the list, which is transparent green. Weigh out 100 grams of rapid model resin to a plastic cup, then press tear on the scales to bring it back to zero. This formula calls for two drops of cyan and two drops of yellow. So let's add them now. I'll also use a scale to get as close to 0.065 grams as possible. Now I'll take my wooden stirring stick and mix the pigment into the resin. You can see that was pretty easy. You can make your own colours using the same technique. For repeatable results, make sure you record your drops and weights so you can create the same colours next time. Be careful not to add too much pigment into the resin as it will affect the curing time. You can always lower the layer height to help the light pass through the pigment. Darker colours that are more opaque generally need longer to cure than lighter transparent colours. It is possible to add too much pigment and not get the resin to cure, so do be careful. Now pour the resin into the printer's vat. If you have a larger format printer, you need more resin. Then you can just double or triple the formulas. So there you have it, a custom colour that you can create using our online guide. We'll add extra colours to the chart as we create them. We would love your colour formulas if you're able to share them. Please send us a message through the website. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more pro tips. Thanks for watching. Remember to keep on 3D printing.